Right now, legislation being reviewed in Tallahassee could threaten the safety of your kids. That's according to Redefining Refuge. It's an advocacy group here in Tampa that fights to save children from sex trafficking. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Andrea Lyon live for us in Tampa this morning with more on that bill. And Andrea, you spoke with the owner of the agency who says well, they're very concerned right now. Yeah, they're worried. And Caitlin and Frank, it's called House Bill 49. And essentially, uh, 16 and 17 year old workers, they could work really any shift that they want to. And the current law right now protects them from working late hours or early shifts. And I did speak with the Redefining Refuge uh, owner, a nonprofit group here in Tampa uh, that works to end child sex trafficking. We wanted to highlight today as Human Trafficking Awareness Day because Florida does rank third in the nation when it comes to the amount of calls into the human trafficking hotline. And while we were chatting, the owner explained to me her worries about House Bill 49, saying while big corporations would benefit by being able to use their minor workers more often, without being fined, it puts those children in danger of labor and sex trafficking. And if we take those things away, it just creates an, like a rife environment for traffickers to exploit more children. We're already having a problem with familial trafficking, um, sex trafficking. And so if a family member is already trafficking a child for substance use or whatever the case is, this just creates a scenario for them to be exploited even more. Right now, that House Bill 49 sits in the Commerce and Tourism Committee for consideration. But today, Frank, uh, you see I'm wearing blue and Redefining Refuge and all advocates are really urging people to wear blue and start that conversation about ending human uh, trafficking. Keep the conversation going there, Andrea. Also, something that you pointed out, this happens so frequently, people don't realize it's happening right in front of them. Yeah, there are there are signs, but a lot of times it's happening in, in plain sight.